Welcome to the Ravid Show. We are here at Snowflake Summit and it's day one. And look who I have with me, Andrew, who's the CMO and CDO at uh, Leaders Bank. Uh, first of all, welcome to the Ravid Show. It's Thank a you. pleasure to host you today. Yeah, thanks for having me on. It's great to be here. Awesome. Just for our audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself? Tell us more about the 360, uh, you know, the platform yeah, at sure. Leaders Bank. Yeah, sure. So my name is Andrew Swinney. I'm the Chief Marketing and Data Officer at Leader Bank. Uh, I've been there for about two years, but I've been in financial services for the last 11 years. Nice. And yeah, the project that I'm here talking about is our client 360. Uh, we basically had siloed data across the organization, and one of our major missions is to deliver modern banking with a personal touch. And so, you know, modern banking and being able to give really great client services means understanding who your client is. Right. So siloed data is the direct opposite of that. The 360 is basically consuming all of that data, so we have a holistic picture of who our client is. That's awesome, and uh, I saw your talk as well, so uh, pretty good stuff in terms of, you know, I saw so many people coming back to you and asking so many questions. So I'm thrilled to, you know, obviously be doing this. Uh, I'm kind of also wanting to learn a little about uh, what are some key challenges in unifying customer data, because you work around a lot of customer data. Sure, yeah. I think there's a lot of challenges, and I could probably talk for the next 20 minutes about that. <laughs> uh, some of the challenges are going to be data quality. Um, obviously, when you're looking at a lot of different systems, the quality of data is going to be varied. Um, inside a master data management process, the way that you're going to do identity resolution is critical for making a C360 model that means something. Right. And so, in those different systems, sometimes you'll have great high quality data you can use to match, sometimes you're not. And so, figuring out what is your method for identity resolution is going to be really important. Right. I'd say the final piece is going to be um, building a cross-functional team that helps own this because you're going to need to build a lot of business logic into your client model. Um, an example for us was like, who owns the client? Right, uh, is right. it going to be the loan officer? Is it going to be the branch? Is it going to be the customer support person? And that matters a lot, especially when commission is driven by that or if there's other you know, incentives. Um, so yeah, the, when you're working across a large range of lines of business and different data sources, there's a lot of challenges there. That's awesome, and uh, thanks for those insights. Also, I'm kind of curious, since we are here at Medellin's uh, booth, I'm kind of interested to also learn about uh, how did Medellin actually help you with the unification efforts? Yeah, so we really just have two tools we use. It's Matillion and Snowflake. Um, and Matillion does all of our ETL work, so consuming the data from those source systems and bring it into Snowflake. It's also our MD, it houses all of our MDM process, so yep. that identity resolution and that business logic, that's all there. It does the orchestration, it does the um, standardization, everything you need to really get good, clean quality data at the end. And now we're also using it for reverse ETL to pipe right. that information back down to source systems so those different lines of business can get value from it. That's awesome. And also, since you mentioned about Snowflake, so how how have Matillion and Snowflake uh, facilitated data-driven client service at Leader Bank? Sure. So they are the modern data stack that's giving us that client that client 360 that we're using for um, enhanced reporting, we're using it for automation of tasks, for marketing automation, and then we're also servicing that up to anyone who's client facing so they really understand in a deep way who this client is, perhaps right. the problems they have, and how to better serve them. Very important. Uh, also quickly wanted to jump on what specific features of Medellin have been particularly beneficial for Leader Bank. Any thoughts around that? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot. Matillion, uh, you know, is a tool that we really love. Nice. Um, I'd say the biggest things would be that um, it's easy to own, so it's fast to learn. You can have a dev team or understand it very quickly, and then it's flexible in the way that it can be used. Yes. So you, basically anything you want to build, you can build it there. I already mentioned it's ETL, it's MDM, it's reverse ETL, and so it has that flexibility to nice. serve a lot of roles in the stack. What about the future? How do you see it with Medellin? Oh man, um, I don't know. They're doing so many cool things. I, you know, obviously the stuff they're doing with the AI and how that could accelerate your dev teams is really interesting. Exactly. So that's something I'm watching. I'm super excited about. Um, yeah, maybe that's what I'm most excited about. That's awesome. Uh, one last thing for our audience: if people want to reach out to you, learn more about, you know, obviously Leaders Bank, but obviously uh, there's there's so much that you work in the data space around, and even in the marketing space. Where can they do that? Is LinkedIn a good place? Yeah, absolutely. LinkedIn's a great place to find me. Um, I have an open uh, open account there, that's or awesome. they can send me an email: Andrew Period Swinney at LeaderBank.com. Okay, that's fantastic. Andrew, thanks for doing this. Uh, great talk and. Thanks for taking the time out to sit with the Robert Show today. Yeah, thanks for having me on. I thank really you appreciate very it. Much. Yeah, thank appreciate you. Appreciate it.